this is our final video. Uh, this one we're looking at the RHS test of similarity. So we've gone through three tests of similarity so far. This is our fourth one, the RHS test. Uh, let's take a look at what the RHS test is. Um, if the ratio of the hypotenuses of two right-angled triangles equal the ratio of another pair of sides, then the two triangles are similar. All right, so the right-hand side, uh, sorry, uh, the RHS test um, only works in a very particular example. It stands for RHS, right angle, hypotenuse, side. So first of all, your triangles need to be right angle triangles. If they're not right angle triangles, the RHS test is dead. You're not going to be able to use it. You also need the ratio of the hypotenuses. Right? So you need to look at the hypotenuse and look at the ratio of them. Now, if they're... Uh, once you know what the ratio of the hypotenuses is, if you look at one more pair of sides, so another pair of sides, and that ratio is the same, then you've got similar triangles. Uh, if we run through an example, it might become a little more clear what we're talking about here. Uh, so we've got two triangles here, you can see that. The questions are, prove that the two triangles in the diagram to the right are similar. We're going to use the RHS method to do that. And B, we're going to identify the equal angles in two triangles. Uh, so you can see they've put angles in there. We're going to figure out which ones are equal to each other. Uh, so there's a little step here before we start. We need to say, we need to figure out that they're both right angle triangles. We can see that the top one is, that one there. But what about this bottom one? I can prove that that's a right angle triangle by saying that angle, angle, AMB is equal to angle PMQ, that is AMB is equal to PMQ, and the reason for that is because they're vertically opposite, okay? Vertically opposite, like a pair of scissors. If this is a right angle, then this also must be a right angle. So we've proven that it's a right angle, that means that we can at least test using the right, the, um, the RHS method. Second step, we need to look at the ratios of the two hypotenuses. So if that's the right angle, remember that the hypotenuse is opposite that. Okay, so let's find the ratio of them. AB over PQ is equal to uh, 10 over 15, which when we make it simple is 2 over 3, or when we simplify it, 2 over 3. So we know two things now. We know that they're both right angle triangles and we know that the ratio of the hypotenuses is two over three. The last step here is to test another set of sides. And we can see another set of sides here with eight and 12. So we're gonna use them. Uh, make sure that you do these in the right order. We did A, B, then P, Q last time. So now we need to do B, M, then P, M. So B, M over P, M is equal to 8 over 12, and if you simplify that, you'll get 2 over 3. So we now that we've done that, we can write a little ratio statement here um, that says AB over PQ equals BM over PM, which equals 2 over 3. So now we have two things. We know that they're right angles. We know that a, M, B, and P, M, Q are right angles. And we also know that A, B over P, Q is equal to B, M over P, M, 2 over 3. Finally, we can finish with our statement, which says that triangle, and make sure you do it in the right order again, uh, the side that we know is the hypotenuse, so A, B, and then that other side, B, M, and then M, A. So triangle, A, B, M, is similar to, and then we'll do the same thing, the hypotenuse, the side we know, and then that other side. So it's going to be QPM, triangle, QPM. And the reason for it is RHS. Now, we've just proven that they are similar through um, the right-hand side test, but we can do one more thing as well. Identify the equal angles in the two triangles. So we need to figure out which ones are pairs. And we can do that by saying that the angle at angle A, because we, we've written them in the right order, 
the angle at angle A is equal to the angle at angle Q. So this is equal to this. So we can say that alpha is equal to whatever this sign is. They're the same there. And we can also say that beta is equal to this one, which is theta. Because of the order that we've written our triangles in, A, B, M, Q, P, M, A lines up with Q, B lines up with P, and M lines up with M. Okay, and uh, that's, so we've identified the two equal angles in the triangle. So there are our two steps. Now that you've got your four tests of similarity, you're going to get a bunch of questions where you can, you can use those tests to, one, prove that triangles are similar, like we did in this first part, but also start identifying um, equal angles, maybe finding unknown sides, a whole bunch of other stuff as well. Um, okay, let's get started.